going on YouTube? Did you miss me? It's your guy, Mr. DCYLP. Now, shout out to my guy, Romello, man. Romello always showing love, man. All right, he got a question, man. He dropped a question underneath one of the videos. Like I always tell y'all to do, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, then let me know. And now, today, we're going to address his question. Now, before we get into that, though, check out my intro. Uh. y'all welcome back welcome back welcome back now check this out for starters if y'all don't have this i would advise you to download it now it's called inkscape okay it's a it's a free editing uh software once again it's called inkscape i-n-k-s-c-a-p-e all right now this is this is the program that i use when i gain all of my designs if I need something ganged. Okay, now for starters, I'm gonna go slow. Okay, you see this box, this rectangular box? Uh, it's not it's not the size that I needed. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to change that, all right? So depending on which size uh, transfer uh, sheet you guys are planning on buying start for starters you start with that so I don't know which company you guys are gonna use so I'm just gonna go ahead and, and go off a of memory of what I used the last the last um, the last time I purchased some gang sheets I think was like uh, like a week and a half ago from from um, FM I use FM and the last time I used FM they have a 12.75 by 19 inch option. So let me go ahead and show you guys how I set that up. So up here in the top left corner, you go to file. Okay. Now you just scroll down to here where it says document properties. Okay. Click on that left click. A box should open. And you see over here where it says units, we're going to go to inches. Okay. Inches. Now the inches, it, these inches, these numbers should change in, in this width and box, and excuse me, width and height uh, box here. So for height, I'm gonna go with, uh, I'm gonna go with, uh, I forgot, cause I think I rotated it. But anyways, let's go with the 12.75 option. And you can enter it, okay. And the height is 19. So we're gonna go to 19. 19. Like I said, y'all, I don't know for my last design if I uh, rotated it or whatever, but I'm just gonna show you guys how I do it regardless. All right, so we got our width, we got our height. Now down here, I always like to, you don't have to, but I always like to click on this option right here, the checkerboard background okay so we can actually see what's gonna go inside of, of our box and down here where it says show pay, show um, border shadow now nah, I never use that so we're gonna click that and we're good to go once we have all that in place you can just X out of it okay so now we got our box here it's empty right now because we didn't um obviously we didn't put anything in it yet and if you would like to magnify that come down here down here follow the mouse uh, to the right bottom corner and just magnify the box if you want to see anything magnified okay so I'm just gonna go back out of that a little bit till I add start adding my um it was at 35% starting so just go back there okay so now when you want to input your art just come up here to file okay now from file scroll down to import okay now the box should open with all your artwork or whatever you have on your PC so let's just pick something all right let's just let's just pick this object right here all right and this box is gonna open just just click okay you're good there 
Now, that item that I selected to import into the box is right here. All right, so we're just gonna select it and just drag it anywhere. Make sure you within the limits of the box, okay? Now up here, up here we're gonna go in the top middle where it says millimeter. Now we're not working in millimeters. All right, we're in, we're working in uh, inches. All right, we're in America here, so go to inches. So as we import it, this particular image right here is only one point three seven five inches in width and it's 1.375 inches in height so it's pretty much square now let's say you wanted this particular image to be I don't know three inches all right you can either stretch it to get to three all right by just dragging whatever corner you want okay you can stretch it or you can manually enter three inches up here okay now this image is three inches all right now let's make sure we're staying within the lines of the box all right so just magnify it and as you can see it's kind of like on the edge so just left click it and you can you can either drag it or you can use the arrows on your keyboard to drag it down to make sure it's within the confined space of the box okay now here comes the ganging part now this is just one box in this big area that we can use here right so now what we're going to do is right click and we're going to duplicate it boom watch this hold on it didn't do it yet hold on right click duplicate there's our other one all right, now we want to give ourselves some space though for cut lines. All right, so when you get your artwork, you're, you're, everything's not on top of each other. All right, so there we go. Just like I said, you can either drag it or just use the arrows on your key um, pad to space everything out. All right, so you no longer have one image, now you have two, and just keep going. Duplicate. All right, right click, scroll down to duplicate. The duplicate image is going, to, is going to stay on top of the last one that you put on that you put inside the box until you actually drag it off okay so once again we're going to give ourselves some spacing and we're still as you can see the top line we're still inside the limits of the of the confined space all right and one we should be able to fit one more up top so we're going to right click again duplicate okay now it should be it should have duplicated it so just drag it over yep there we go now as you can see we no longer have one image we have four now so depending on how many gang sheets you want to buy all right so let's let's say you're gonna let's say you're gonna buy uh 400 uh sheets excuse me 100 sheets but now since you have four images so far on this one sheet now you no longer have a uh, hundred sheets now excuse me a hundred uh, options for your art now you have 400 options because we got four images here now right all right now boom now let's say we wanted to add another yeah I said another image to this one particular gang sheet all right now I don't want y'all to get ahead of yourselves either because see this particular image right here is color now once you start getting into color you know those gang sheets cost a, uh, a lot more money all right but i'm just using this as a reference all right so we're gonna go to once again go back to the top left corner go back to file import all right i'm just gonna pick another random image okay let's just pick uh Let's pick, let's pick this image right here. It looks like a horizon. Okay. Click OK. Now that's huge. All right, don't get worried because you can just drag it 
and resize it. You can either, you know, like I said, grab one of the corners and shrink it down. You can do it that way. Or once again, like I said, you can go back up here in width and height and adjust it that and adjust it that way. But I'm just gonna drag this since I've been doing this for a while, I know what I'm doing. Alright, so now, boom, this is a bigger image now. Okay. I'm just gonna shrink it down a little bit. So right now, it's in there. Let's, let's give ourselves some space. Okay, it's not touching the top image. It's not touching the edge of the, of the, of the gang sheet. So we're good. And as you can see, if you go up top here, it's in width is 6.5, 26 inches by 4.88 six inches all right now we want it if that's the size we want it for this particular image on our game sheet it fits see it fits it fits in the box all right so let's just zoom out of this a little bit it fits in that box and if we wanted to add another one in there you can just duplicate it boom we got another one it might not fit okay let's say let's say this is the size that you want it and it doesn't fit side by side. So, okay, so be it. Drop that bad boy down to the bottom. Boom. Drop it down to the bottom. Make sure you got some space for cutting. Okay. Now you got two of those images on your gang sheet. Now, boom, let's add another image. So go back up to file. Go back up to import. And let's go with something that's a little bit harder. That's not like so like square. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. Where's my DCYOP logo? Let's see what we got. Let's see what I got in here, man. All right, let's see what I got. Right, let's just grab this X. No, I don't like that X because it's not vectorized. So, okay. Let's just delete that. Add something else. Go back to import. Okay, let's see. Alright, see, let's see. Let's go with let's go with this Y. Hopefully that Y is vectorized. Yep, there we go. See that? See this Y? Alright, now that Y fits in there in this space perfectly. Okay. Now let's say we wanted to add another one of these Y's in here. Okay, let's duplicate it. But now we're gonna flip this Y. All right, we can flip it. Once you start running out of space, right? You can flip it. And put it either this way, if you want, boom. Duplicate it. Now you can flip it again if you want. So anything you could, you could anything you guys could put in this box. All right, this is this is how you gain this is how you gain your art for these uh, transfer companies. So all this in here, this is all this is still all open space that you can use. So right, I'm just gonna go ahead and put something else in that space. Import. All right, let's just grab something else. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Let me see. This is this is some of my this is some of my artwork. Okay, it's my my wee major whalers joint. Okay, boom. I'm just gonna shrink this down. Look at that. Now, if I wanted to, right, I could flip that. Boom. And I could put that right in here. Right in here. So we're not wasting no space. You know, even though it's only one inch in width and, and three inches in height, boom, it's in there though. It fits with inside the limits of this gang sheet. So I'm just going to duplicate it, right? Boom. Drag another one down. Boom. It, 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 it almost fit. Hold on. It might fit in there perfectly. It just might fit, y'all. 
It does. It does. Look at that. Now, if I wanted that image on the gang sheet, I got that too. I got that too, y'all. So let me just blow it up so y'all can look. Look. Everything fits in there perfectly. Perfectly. So, you know, I ain't going to keep going on and on. You know, but Mellow, hopefully, you know, this helped you out, man. But it's not as hard as some people think. That's how you gang. All right. First off, like I said, you start with whatever size transfer you're going to use. You got to know that first. So pick your company. FM. Uh, I don't know. Uh, PW. I don't know. Uh, Super color. Find the size gang sheets that they offer. Come into Inkscape. You know, set it up for your properties. Document properties of the size that you're going to need. You know, put all your numbers in there. Close this out and boom, and just start entering your work. And once you got this gang sheet done, you know, just go here to file. You know, go scroll down to export PNG image. Go over here to, once this box opens, go over here to export as. Click on that. You know, it's, this box is going to open right here and just save it to wherever you want to save it at in your PC. You know? And once you're done with that, you just click this export button, boom, and you're done. And it's going to be, and it's going to save to your PC with whatever uh, title name you decide to save it as. And you don't need this name anymore, so X out of that. And once you do that, man, your game sheet is pretty much ready to go. So once you upload it, you know, to whatever uh, transfer company you decide to use, you know, everything is ready to go for you. All right, so Morello, Romello. You know, thank you. Thank you for sending in that question. Uh, I mean, this was easy enough for me. You know, like I like I, like I, I say, if I got the knowledge, you know, I'll pass it on. All right, now, before I get out of here, I want y'all to know, make sure y'all hit that thumbs up notification. Make sure y'all hit that bell. So whenever time I got some more new, you know, content, I could, I could bless y'all. And, um, you know, we could keep this thing rolling. All right. Uh. I cracked. I already cracked over 400 uh, subscribers. I'm trying to get it to five real quick. Then I'm trying to get it to a thousand real quick. Then I'm trying to get it to two thousand. You know the deal, man. Y'all just keep supporting y'all, boy. All right. And if y'all want any of my garments, make sure y'all hit my website and hit me up. If you need me to to, to design anything, you know, hit me up. Hit my DM uh, on Instagram. And, you know, and I'll shoot you guys a quote, and you know, we'll go from there. All right, till next time, man. I salute y'all. I hope everybody's working hard on their brand. And like I always say, choose your own path. Let's get it. The message is always in the cloth, the colors, the designs, the fit. Basically, pay attention, stay alert, and remember, choose your own path.